We're at PAX East here and we're catching up with Guru Games uh, to learn about a game called, and I gotta get this right now, Magnetic Cage Closed, not Case Closed. And uh, can you tell us first, wh wh what is this game all about? So this game is a uh, first person puzzle platformer, kind of like, like the Portal game. But we have got a magnetic device which manipulates magnetic forces instead of like portals. So you can use that to push and pull on different objects in the game in order to solve different puzzles. Sounds really sort of basic here, but I understand it gets quite a, quite a lot more complicated as you go around and there's a lot of different ways to use this. Yeah, uh, in each of the chambers you'll be facing a lot of different puzzles and as you progress the puzzle will be becoming more and more, you know, like difficult. So as you get more experience with the magnet gun, you'll be able to do more advanced stuff with it. And later on, you will be uh, experiencing some, uh, some like bigger objects in the game will actually affect you as well when you're trying to uh, interact with them. So if you're pushing or pulling on something that's stuck on a wall, then you will send yourself flying. Or you can pull yourself towards objects and you will use that to jump across the levels and you know, avoid traps and stuff like that. So it gets pretty advanced as you go along with the game. So, uh, what, what, what's the setting? What's the what's the backstory to this? Because you know, I, I suppose it's not an everyday object that you carrying around a magnetic gun. Uh, no, no. So this is set in the Cold War era, and you're stuck in an American secret testing facility, and you're a death row prisoner who has been sent there by the government because they're like selling prisoners to this different these kind of different secret stuff, and you have been given with the choice to either participate in testing or be executed. So naturally you choose to proceed with the testing because they give you like the option of if you complete the entire testing facility then you'll be able to get back out in the real world. So they'll just release you with a clean slate. So it's a bit darker than Portal and you're just trying to get through all of these dangerous chambers and you know trying to survive. So is, is, the, is the story important for the sort of continuation or game or, or is the puzzles the sort of the meat, the meat and, and potatoes of it? Well, the puzzles are like the bigger thing, but we have uh, worked really hard on getting like an interesting story for people to experience as well. So we have different branching storylines, and at certain points in the game, you'll become, uh, you will uh, experience what we call a choice cube. And in these uh, different cubes, you will be presented with a choice by one of the characters in the game. And mostly, these are moral dilemmas. In which uh, one example is that you will be faced with uh, whether or not you should send another prisoner into the testing facilities or whether they should be executed. And the choice is up to you of what you want that person, what you want to happen to that person. And depending on your choice there, the story will branch and you will get different endings uh, for the game. Is that a straightforward choice? It sounds like maybe it's, it's a bad thing or, a, or another bad thing, sort of. Yeah, it's mostly like bad or bad. So you, gotta, you're, so you really got to think as a player of what, what do I want to do in this situation? Um, and we have several of these chambers that you will encounter during your uh, journeys through the testing facilities. And they will all uh, kind of like uh, change what happens uh, with the final game. So if you play, so if you and your friends play, you will probably have different experiences depending on your choices throughout the game. So uh, I understand that this concept sort of started when, when you were back at school as a, as a student project. Can you tell us a little bit about the journey that you've had with this game? Yeah, so we were students at the university in Sweden and we started working on this as part of a school project and our lead designer came up with the idea and you know like the concept for the you know wanting the magnetic weapon and wanting to do something combining Portal and the movie franchise Cube kind of like mashing them together and from there we just started working with the entire team and started thinking about what would be cool to do in this game what can we what can we use this for and then we thought that we like that puzzle games generally are very similar each time you play through. It's like you've done Portal once, then you've done it every single time. You know, you know the puzzles, you know what's going to happen. But in our game, we wanted to some to do replayability, to get that really into the game, so that you want to play it several times. You know, get more of the story and get uh, become better at the game. Because several of our puzzles have 
uh, of different solutions to them. So if you go in and you do it like the obvious way, and then there's like the not so obvious way, and then there's the way that we don't even know about, that we have seen lots of people here at PAX as well that just solves things that we have never seen people do before. And we're like, oh, you can do that as well. So we really want to get the replayability into it. So we're hoping people will enjoy that. So, but but the puzzles aren't branching in the same way as the story. It's it's you progress along the same line, or no? So we have like a random level system in which we have a pre-designed cube. So it's like every level, if you get to the same level again, the level would be the same, but the order in which you experience the levels will be randomized. And some levels will only be open to you if you make specific choices in the different choice cubes as well. So you will want to play through at least a couple of times to see what all the levers, uh, what all the levels have to you know offer you. Uh, can you tell us a little bit where, where you're at in development right now? I understand you're targeting PC as well as consoles and things like that. Yeah. So we're really like in the final stages of getting it done for the PC. So we're hoping to have it out by the end of this month, uh, hopefully if everything goes well, so we're doing the final bug fixing and got it in QA right now to get everything like done. But for the console ports, it'll take a couple of more months to get that done, I think. So the Xbox One and PS4 will be a bit at a bit later date. Thank you so much for your time. Oh, thank you. in this place could talk, the stories they would tell.